Hi again 2DC, here's your maths lesson, week 8, lesson 4. This is your warm up for today, it should be in your pack, the subtraction sheet with the crab on. And what you've got to do is subtract the top number from the bottom number, so 12 take away 10 is 2, and 11 take away 9 is 2. What about 12 take away 11? We go across the row now, that's 1 isn't it? And then 10 take away 9 is also 1. But what about this square here? Well you have to work out 2 take away 2, which is 0. But would your column also give you that as well? 1 take away 1, is that also 0? Yeah. So we know we've got it right. See if you can work your way through the other squares. Quickly, but carefully. And don't forget to check. Some quick revision on time now, before we move on and make it a bit harder. It should be really good at o'clock by now. The smaller hour hand, remember, it's telling you what o'clock it is. The big hand points to the 12, top of the clock, telling you it's o'clock. Three o'clock. And digitally, we write that as three zero zero. Because it was three o'clock and no minutes have gone past three o'clock. So we've got four o'clock or four zero zero. Five o'clock, six o'clock and so on. Now what about half past? Where does the big hand have to be, the red hand, if it's half past something? Well, it has to cut the clock in half, hasn't it? So it's pointing to the six. And the hour hand is halfway between the seven and the eight here. So we say it's half past seven. It's gone past the seven, but we're not at eight o'clock yet. Digitally, we call it 7.30, don't we? Because that hand is telling us it's seven something and the big hand is telling us it's 30 minutes past. Look, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Have a look at these times then. Half past eight or 8.30. Half past nine, 9.30 and so on. Look at the size of those hands, remember. The hour hand is quite short, isn't it? But the minute hand is actually touching the number on the clock. Now let's revise quarter past. The minute hand, the big one, has to cut the clock into quarters. So it's always going to point at the three. The little hand, the hour hand, is just past a number on the clock. Because it's only gone quarter past the hour. That is quarter past two or 2.15 digitally because look it's gone 5, 10, 15 minutes past the 12. So recap some more quarter past times. Really important to look at both hands. Now quarter to, I always find a bit harder. This looks like it's very nearly eight o'clock, doesn't it? But the big hand has still got a quarter of the clock to tick through to get to eight o'clock. So we call it quarter to eight. But digitally, there's no eight. It hasn't gone past eight o'clock yet. It was seven o'clock, but then the big hand has gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes past 7 o'clock. So we say that's 7.45. How about these other ones? Replay this part of the video if you'd like a little bit more practice. And you can always use real clocks at home to have a practice with. Both analogue, remember, and digital times are needed. You can also work your way through the PowerPoint that I put in the emergency Google folder. Which explains the difference between when it's something past or something to. Have a go at this then. Page 74. And here, I want you to write the digital time for me. And then here with your rulers, which you should be good at using by now, 
you've got to put the hands on. Remember to be careful where you put them and the size you draw them. Make that minute hand really long, the hour hand nice and short. And there's some work on the back too, don't forget. Try this one next. Really get to grips with quarter two times. You have to put the hands on for the analog time and write the digital time. Then if you turn over, be very careful here because some of the clocks they want you to do quarter two and some of them quarter past. What about times though when the minute hand isn't at the 12, it's not o'clock, it's not pointing to the three, so it's not quarter past something, it's not pointing to the six, so it's not half past something, and it's not pointing to the nine, it's not quarter to something. Something like this. That was 12 o'clock, but one, two, three, four, five minutes have gone past 12 o'clock. So we say that's five past 12. Another five, that would be 10 past 12, wouldn't it? Quarter past 12. 20 past 12, 25 past 12, and you know that's half past. So when the minute hand is pointing to 12, 3, 6 and 9, they have a special name. But when it's pointing to 1, 2, 4 and 5, we have to count how many minutes past the hour it's gone. And we can write that digitally as well. So 5 past 12 is 12.05. Five minutes have gone past 12 o'clock. 10 past 12, we write as 12.10. 12.15 is quarter past 12, and so on. Let's go back to this clock now and see what happens when we add on five minutes to the time up here. The actual analog clock and the digital clock. Look how it's shown. Let's do that from four o'clock, five minutes later. And I'd like you to have a listen and look at the video that I've put the link for in the Google Emergency folder. It's telling time song for kids, telling time to five minutes, look. It does some recap and some more explaining about times that are those special times. O'clock, quarter past, half past and quarter to. Have a go at page 35 then, when you're ready. Be careful with the size of those hands. And thing. You should also find this in your pack. And you can play dominoes with a grown up or a big brother or sister. Cut out each domino, cut along the dotted lines, don't cut along the solid lines. And you should be able to match up the digital times with the analogue times. And for some extension today, you've got some problem solving with time. This should be in your pack, page 52 and page 53. That's another lesson done, year two. Well done. See you tomorrow. Bye.